All right. Well, let's uh, talk about the elephant in the room, Mr. Oh, Zach. Yeah. The yeah. on fire crypto, the meme coin of the moment, yeah. right? Drum roll, please. Pepe. Pepe mm -hmm. is just, man, I, I, I'm not, you know what? I'm just going to let you go. Uh, oh, but let me refresh this. Let me hold on. This is a, this is an old version. I had it at, I hadn't refreshed this. Uh, nope. That's Dr. Pepe. Apologize. There we go. There, there we go. Um, no, Pepe's gone backwards a little bit, man. It's given up a little bit of the, uh, it's given up a little bit of the, I'm having that a bit of it's all screwed up. I don't know why. Yeah, is that, I've been having issues with Dex tools recently. It's not uh, showing the chart. If you go to Pepe, I have just looking at it. Uh, That's still showing. It's weird. Okay, let me go to Coin Market Cap. Hold on just a minute. Uh, talk amongst yourself right here. Go ahead. Let me uh, go ahead. Talk about it. Let me pull. Yeah. It. Let me go to Coin Market Cap. Yep. And uh, so, so here's the thing with Pepe, guys. It, it was consolidating for a really long time. Uh, right at that, you know, it was actually a zero ago. <laughs> at that two, 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 five range. That's where I look to, uh, yeah, Justin just said, switch to hourly candles. That's what I've been doing too. If you want Dex tools, you go to, I'll, go uh, to I'll pull it back up, but here, here you go. There's uh there you go. There's coin market cap. Look at that chart, man. It's crazy. So see where that, all that consolidation happened. Yeah. That's yeah. where I accumulated a little bit. And this is what I've been saying. You never want to chase the green candles guys. You, you want to wait. At least this is my, my point of view. I like to wait and see at least four, five, six, seven days of sideways action. Because what does that tell us? That tells us that the buyers and sellers have met at a price point. They've yep. met in the middle and said, okay, it's a stalemate. What's next, right? Are, are we going to get a breakout or a breakdown? And I had a good feeling with Pepe that was gaining traction. It's still very new, but it got so big so fast. I'm like, okay, now that it's consolidated here for two to three, four days, I'll take a chance. And that's exactly what this is. Re remember this, guys. These meme coins come out with zero utility at first. The community is the utility. This is essentially going to the casino at home on your laptop these early days. But it's also where life-changing money can be made, right? So you want to obviously, you know, take – what I like to do is take a small amount of money that says, okay, this pool of money is just for meme tokens. And Pepe – I mean, it's amazing what's happened here. It went over five hundred million dollar market cap. Yeah, Austin, last night I made a video. It was two hundred and thirty million. I woke up. It was five hundred and twenty million. I mean, it was insane. Um, yeah, but yeah. what goes up that fast has to come down. Yeah, we're we're seeing it right here. Yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're seeing. I have slept. I, and by the way, I had to refresh like four times. So Dex Tool is having some 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 issues here. Uh, but yeah, you do see this pullback. And I, I want to go back to something you said, though, Zach. It's really, I think it's it's don't chase the candles, right? And it's also, but it's also have a plan. You know, take the profits along the way. Don't ride the euphoria of it's going to go up and it's going to continue to go up and it's never going to go back. It's never going to pull back. We are seeing right here a pullback. And I, I like what you said about consolidation. So to me, this is actually a good thing, right? This this little bit of a pullback profit taking um, I've taken some profits today on Pepe. I know you have as well. Um, you know, and I think it's good. I mean, but it, but the fact of the matter is, is that I think what, what this really comes back to is I want to get your opinion on this is nothing bad about crypto. I'm not saying anything. The statement coming is not nothing bad about, uh, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, even SHIB is that I think that, I think that people are, we're wanting to do something. And you and I saw the, the, this new wave of meme coins explode. Pepe was the first, it was the leader followed by Bob. And then there was, you know, other ones like baby Pepe and things like this. But I think fundamentally what I want your opinion on Zach here is the fact that people wanted just to not even degen people wanted to invest in something fun. And I think people went into People have gone into Pepe and Bob and those guys with eyes wide open. There is no utility. They state they stated up front. It's just we want to have something kind of fun. And again, full disclosure, right? Go into it eyes wide open. You may lose, you know, the five hundred or much you put you put into it, but it but they're fun. So, what's your two cents on that? Hundred percent. And know the risks and know yeah. know how much risk you want to take. Like there are some things out there that are risky about getting into these investments all the time. You have to do your due diligence. You have to look at it. One good thing about some of these new meme tokens that are coming out, there's no buy tax, no sell tax. That is true. That, that's one thing that really hurts people a lot because you could have a nice profit-taking plan, 
But by the time you get hit with a 10% sell tax yeah. and gas fees, you didn't even make any money, right? So yeah. that's nice. Take that into consideration. Always look at those sort of things. Make sure it's not a honeypot. And Dextools has added a nice, uh, added a nice little layer on that sidebar that kind of gives you a bunch of good information. Also, here's the other thing to consider, right? When you're getting into these tokens, take a look at some of the top wallets and see how that money is distributed. Pepe has some huge, huge wallets, right? Mm -hmm. I say that because at any time, somebody can take a huge chunk out. Like last night, uh, there was a huge dip. Obviously, that dip got eaten up. Somebody sold 350 ETH worth of Pepe. What? Right? I didn't know that. Wow. But it could be a good thing because I think it was your pop, our friend Ahmed, who's also you know content creator here on YouTube. He said, here you go. When you're watching the charts and, and you kind of set alerts you, you know, for, for big sells and big buys, there you go. You had like a 10-minute window there where, wow, huge opportunity because some, some big whale took profits. We saw a very similar situation with Shiv early days. Too. Yeah, yeah. And I think final thought for Pepe uh, before we move on is that is that again, it has no function, it has no utility, but what but again, it's stated on the freaking website. Pepe is Pepe, Pepe is life, and all this kind of stuff, right? And Bob does the same thing. But that's the point. I mean, there is no illusions, there is no nothing. Just be be careful. Um, you know, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm s i am would I said that about Shiba Inu back in the day, right? I mean it's one of those things where, and I guess really what I'm trying to say is I wanted to, is that don't, please don't chase the candle, right? Don't FOMO in and chase the candle because usually that's when you're going to get wrecked in one way or the other. And I'm not just talking specifically about Pepe. I'm talking about crypto in general, buy on the red days, sell on the green days and all that kind of stuff. 